I mean, I thought about this one until the last second, would you? Is it just me or is this like, I don't know, 1236, 4.8 miles, both pickups from KFC, and then even the ending destination, I'm here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, it's not that bad, right? I don't know why it took so long to look at it. This is order number one at around 7 p.m. on a weekend. Starting off pretty good there. I like that dollars to mile. And then it's quoted to take mm, under 30 minutes too, which is good. All right, a lot's going on right now. I finished that delivery and I'm right by Oakland near the University of Pittsburgh. Students are back, tons of orders, and they just keep sending me offers here. I'm getting add-on after add-on. Uh, let's take this one. Okay, now I'm locked in, hi. I got a five guys. The Uber Eats offer five guys solid. And I knew, this is what you'll know in your marketplace. I knew that that five guys gets so busy that most likely they're gonna send me a, an add-on offer and they did, but I don't want just any add-on. I want an add-on for that same five guys because I don't want to waste time driving anywhere else for any other parking. I want the same restaurant and I know Five Guys is popular enough, I'm gonna get an add-on for that same Five Guys, and I did. What was that add-on? Let me look here. 6.48, 1.5 miles, an additional 10 minutes. That is fantastic. So you'll need to know in your marketplace, where am I, how busy is it? Like again, I know there's a ton of students, there's a lot of orders, so I should get an add-on. And then how busy is that restaurant? I knew, okay, it's at Five Guys, it's real popular, I should get an add-on. I don't just want an add-on for any old restaurant. I want it for the same exact restaurant so when I'm there, I can pick up two orders. Two orders, and then the mic died. It's supposed to be charging in the case. I don't know, I gotcha. So the stacked orders went well. It was in a busy spot, but the pickup and the drop-off were fine. And then wait until you see the next thing that I got here, because I'm looking at my screenshots, right? So after the stacked orders, it's going okay, I'm waiting for another order and I get this one. All right, 11.07, it's a stacked order, so there's two drop-offs there. It's 3.8 miles, which is good, 28 minutes. So I always think about it like, all right, if this takes 30 minutes, then I have 30 minutes left in the hour. Can I get another offer like this? Can I duplicate this? If I get another offer, like another $11 offer in that 30 minutes, I'm doing $22 an hour. But I think I could do a little bit better. So I accept this one. It's on Grubhub, exactly why we multi-app, right? 1558. 4.5 miles and it's a stacked offer. Now what I'll do sometimes is I'll stay online for like a minute, just a minute as I'm getting out of my parking spot, I'm leaving like, I don't know, I was delivering at an apartment complex. So I'm leaving the apartment complex, I'm leaving their area just in case something good comes in because I'm reserving my cancels, I don't cancel a lot. So I'm sitting there and then Look what I get on DoorDash, $21.50, 5.7 miles, and it's a stacked order, but both offers are going to the same customer as well. Well, I just got uh, glitched out or whatever on a massive like 40, 40 plus dollar order on Uber Eats, my last shift. So a little redemption here. I mean, it's not that high, but this is one of the highest offers. Like margin wise, you're probably gonna see 2150, 5.7 miles. Oh, by the way, and it's quoted to take, mm, yeah, like 40 minutes or so, so that's solid. There, exactly why I'm reserving cancels. I canceled that stacked order on Grubhub to take this 20 plus dollar offer on DoorDash. Now let's look at the numbers. Look at this shift for just two hours here, doing $47, $23 an hour because that massive order right at the end there was fantastic. Six deliveries completed, six tips received. I have noticed the stacked orders on Uber Eats, they're not breaking the tip down by offer. So I'm gonna assume that that other offer tips. So just keep that in mind. I feel like They've shown that in the past. I don't know. They should show individual tips. Let me know if I'm missing something there. $4.64 tip average, which is good. And then the average pay per offer, I'm always aiming at $7 plus $7.90 here, which is solid. And then with the business miles, getting paid over $3 a mile, $3.39. So I finally got a massive high paying offer, probably the first 20 plus dollar order that I've seen in some time. How frequently? Do you get 10 plus, 
15 plus and $20 offers, 20 plus dollar offers. Comment though, because I'm curious, and obviously it depends on how many hours you're driving there, but a 20 plus dollar order to finish it.